Right, another busy week almost completed. It's beer o'clock. So we've got the Gen 4 on this side. And the Gen 3. Oh, where did it go? Nothing on the Gen 3 side there. So that must mean it's finished. Yep, she's all ready to put on the test stand and fire up. And I'm very pleased with this engine. As I've said before, we take our engine building very seriously. We see them as mechanical items of art. And we put our heart and soul into it. And this engine is no exception. Every detail taken care of, even down to the even down to cleaning all the bolts, making sure everything's spotless. So this engine's had a lot of work done to it. And uh, I'll flip it upside down. Let's have a look underneath. Come on. Here we go. There we go. Right. So yeah, that's the bottom side of the engine. Looks equally as good as the top. Beautiful looking engine. Looks great. Very pleased with how this has turned out. It's a Gen 3 engine, and it's had uh, a lot of work to it. In fact, I've just written a short list of some of the work we've done to it. So it's a full engine overhaul, so the crankshaft came out. Um, new mains, big end bearings and oil seals. We honed the cylinders. We modified the Marley forged pistons with the circlip grooves. Uh, relief valve pockets for the valves in the piston crown. Molly rings. Uh, we've got the Gen 4 oil pump, so the high volume oil pump installed. Uh, we've also got uh, the cylinder heads were CNC machined, new combustion chambers machined, uh, decked with uh, copper compression decompression shims, braided oil lines. We've got here all redone with EFI fuel injection hose clamps, so they're nice. New prop and flywheel bolts throughout, so the front flange, new bolts and torqued, same on the flywheel. Turbo hoses on the induction there, much nicer than the stock standard. Uh, so we've got the silicon braided, uh, silicon reinforced hose there, turbo hose. So that's all very nice. Starter motor's been overhauled and painted. Alternator kit's been installed, as you can see here. We'll flip it back over. So I've got the 45 amp alternator installed, brand new. Throttle body fuel injection down there, the throttle body, the TBI, that's been installed. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes on the test run. So there's our throttle body there. Let's have a look there. So there's your mixture control. There's your mixture control and there's your, your throttle. So that'll all have to be mechanized. And it already had our ignition previously. So yeah, it's it's been a, a fairly thorough build. I don't know if we could have put much more into it. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to get on the test end, give it a run and see how she goes. But um, it's, uh, it's interesting when you compare this engine compared to a Gen 4. Um, you know, my, my understanding is the Gen 4 currently is running around about Australian dollars 30,000. Uh, you, you, you wonder whether or not, you know, what this engine would be worth in comparison. Like if this engine was worth 15, 16, even 18,000. Frankly, you know, Gen 4 engine here, new technology with the Nicosil cylinders. And, but really what's changed? It's the same crank and cam, pistons, rods. Really, the big advantage here is is going to be in the top end. There's some advantages with the roll of rockers and whatnot, but really, it's the cylinders that are the big difference there. So you're you're really putting a lot of emphasis on emphasis, sorry, on the on the Nicosil technology. But gee, there's not much wrong with this, with the forged pistons and uh, all the top end work and bottom end work. I would be very happy to run this engine myself. So yeah, I think it's a I think it's a steal. I think there's a lot of life still left in these engines built properly, um, and we've learned a lot over the journey. But um, yeah, I'm very pleased with how this has come up. But again, as always, the proof is proof of the uh, pudding is going to be in the eating. So let's get it on the test stand and and see how she runs. But that's it for me. That's the end of the week. So have a good one. Bye bye.